What's up guys? Welcome back to the shop. I'm Greg from Masterson's Car Care and today I'm going to show you how to clean and protect your motorcycle helmet. Now I love riding motorcycles. I love driving on track days and I needed a new helmet so I could be ready for the spring and the summer. My old Shoei helmet was over five years old so it had a lot of miles on it, had some wear, it was feeling a little loose so I need to go ahead and get a brand new helmet. So I hit up Shoei and I got a brand new RF 1200 helmet. This is really cool. Let's open this up and show you guys this amazing color. Uh, this helmet we had to order because it wasn't in stock. And this one is an amazing wine red metallic. So cool. I love red helmets. They look so great. Plus it improves the safety because people see you when you're on the road. And this one is just cool looking. That color, once it's in the sun, it really does pop. And we're gonna show you how to protect your helmet and keep it looking great. Now my old helmet, which was a Shoei RF 1100, is over five years old. And even though it has so many miles on it, it looks mint just because I did this process to the helmet right when I got it. So today I'm gonna show you how to clean up the helmet and get it looking good. Now when you have a helmet, you're outside in the weather, you're in the sun, you're in the rain, you might be riding in the snow, and you wanna make sure your helmet's protected. It'll make it easier to clean and it'll stay looking good all the time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna first clean the helmet with our Masterson's Detail Spray, get any dust off the helmet that has been sitting in the box, and then we're gonna go ahead and give it a coat of our Shield paint sealant. Now this is the trick to keeping your helmet looking good because this is actually a painted helmet and it's just like your car paint as well. It can scratch, it can swirl, it can become discolored and and stained so we want to make sure that we put some protection on it so we're going to use our shield paint sealant this is a synthetic paint sealant it's going to last 12 months it's going to make the red shine and it's going to keep it looking good now my main concern about my helmet is i don't want the color fading red fades faster than any other color because of the pigment now out here in california when you're riding the sun's just beating on the helmet all the time when you're outside on the bike plus you might be sitting outside and the helmet is just getting solar rays beaded on it all day what this is gonna do is it's gonna protect the helmet from fading and discoloration using UV solar blockers. And I also have some ceramic spray sealant that I'm gonna add at the end, and this is gonna make a real slick finish combined with our shield. These are two great products, and I'm actually gonna use this one to maintain the helmet on a weekly basis after I get the helmet protected. And I also have some of our Masterson's glass cleaner here. This is also for the front shield because our glass cleaner has no ammonia and it's safe on plastic shields like this showy helmet. So let's get this helmet ready to go just like any um, new product. Let's go ahead and get in real close and get us pulling off this sticker. I know a lot of people love this and uh, let's go ahead and pull that off. Don't you just love this? This is like the best thing in the world right here. Pull off that new sticker. Oh wow, that's great. That's great. I know every, all my uh, watchers and viewers on the channel that are into like asthma, they're gonna love that stuff. Okay, so here's what I like to do for the helmet. The first thing that I like to do for the helmet is I either like to remove the front cover or the front visor, or I like to take it off. This one you could actually take it off and on some helmets you could take it off by just doing this, right? Take the uh, little tab and you can actually just pull it out just like this. So cool, right? Let's go on the other side. Be careful when you're doing this, especially this is a brand new helmet. You don't want to harm it. But I like to take off the visor because that allows me to get the sealant right in there and I don't harm the visor. So I'm actually going to take this, put it aside, and then let's get our helmet ready. Now, the first thing I like to do is take our detail spray. This is gonna remove all the dust from the helmet before we apply this paint sealant. You don't want to apply paint sealant on top of dust or dirt. You wanna clean the product uh, or the surface that you're gonna apply first. Now, I like to um, just give it a good wipe down with detail spray. If this was an older helmet, I would clean it with maybe our waterless wash. Uh, and then I could actually even give it a clay bar job if I wanted to, uh, if the helmet has been sitting out for a while. There was even something stuck right on the top of this helmet. I can see it right there. So I want to make sure that I get that off. There we go. Just give it a good wipe. Just wipe off all the dust. This should be a really quick process. I actually like to do this to my helmet once a year, once a season, and I make sure that my helmet stays protected. And this is going to work on all types of helmets. So whether you have a showy uh, or a custom helmet uh, or even a different type of brand, this is going to work for all of them. Uh, imported domestic helmets. This one's made in Japan and I just love the color. That's why I picked up this showy helmet. I love the color. It just does it for me. So now it's been cleaned with our um, detail spray. Let's take our shield paint sealant and let's get this thing protected. This is where the magic comes in. 
Now, I love using shield paint sealant on my helmets because it's gonna repel a lot of water. So I notice when I ride in the rain, it doesn't rain that often out here, but I know a lot of you guys out there might ride in the rain or might ride in uh, stormy weather. It allows the water to just sheet off the helmet, keeps it cleaner and uh, keeps it easier to maintain. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread out my shield paint sealant on the helmet. And I'm putting it on everything. I'm putting it over this, um, over the decal that's on the helmet as well and I'm just not getting it on this rubber seal. Everything, if you can, just try to keep the rubber seal uh, dry. So that way it doesn't harm the rubber and the rubber has a good seal on the, on the uh, shield uh, or the clear or tinted shield on the front. And look, a little bit of our shield paint sealant goes a long way. I love using the shield paint sealant on uh, my motorcycle, my helmet, uh, my scooter. Dirt bikes, it's great for all uh, motorcycles and it's great on this helmet. There we go. Now that's the look you wanna get on the helmet. You notice I have a nice um, even finish. You wanna just spread out the shield paint sealant so that you get a nice full coverage. I try to get as much as I could uh, on the helmet and now the helmet is fully covered uh, with the shield paint sealant, so you can see it on there. Now what you wanna do is you wanna let the shield paint sealant dry for 20 minutes. And what this is gonna do is, this is gonna create a tight bond to the surface, and then it's gonna allow it to stay protected for up to 12 months. I'm actually gonna put two coats of our shield on here. So I'm gonna wait uh, for this to dry 20 minutes, I'm gonna buff it off, and then I'm gonna apply another coat, and we'll see you guys right when that's ready to go, and we'll buff off the second coat and finish up our helmet detail. We'll see you in 20 minutes. All right guys, so we're back after 20 minutes and our shield paint sealant is cured on our brand new helmet. So let's go ahead and buff it off. As you guys saw earlier, we put on our first coat, we buffed it off, and then we put on a second coat and we waited 20 minutes. So now we're gonna have two coats of protection on this helmet. It's gonna stay looking good. So what we're gonna do is take our helmet. I like to uh, put my hand actually inside the helmet like this and it allows me to hold the helmet while I buff it off. So let's take our uh, microfiber towel and let's just go ahead and just give it a light buff. And look how easy the shield comes off on the helmet and it really does make that red paint shine. Um, this, this color just looks amazing in the sun. I know we're inside right now and it has that like dark blood look, but outside it really does sparkle. It gets that good pop. So you wanna just go ahead and give it a good wipe down, a good buff. Make sure that you don't miss any areas. And if, uh, if you're doing this with wax, you can actually use Carnauba wax with this. You can actually use this a uh, little bit of shorter nap side to give it a good buff. And this works on all helmets, whether it's a brand new helmet or an, a used helmet, an older helmet, you wanna bring it back, give it some more shine. I like to protect my motorcycle gear right when I get it. Motorcycle gear is an investment, it's expensive. This is an expensive top of the line helmet. It's not a discount brand helmet. So because of that, uh, you wanna make sure you protect it. It's supposed to last you for years. I mean. They wear these style helmets in MotoGP and racing around the globe with motorcycles. So if you have a good piece of equipment like that, keep it looking good. Plus, the helmet is like the biggest safety equipment you can have on a motorcycle. It protects your head. So if you fall down, you're gonna crack open your skull if you don't have a helmet. So keep your helmet in great condition and take care of it. It's gonna last you for years and you're gonna take it everywhere, whether you ride around the world or you're just riding to work every day or school. I go to the front, I buff it off, and just give it a good wipe, and look at how it's making it shine. And it feels slicker than before. Even though this was a brand new helmet, this helmet is already feeling super slick. And if you notice, the paint uh, sealant did not affect our um, logos on here. There's some logo on here, and this is actually like uh, above the surface. It, you can feel it on the paint. Uh, you don't wanna harm that logo, and our shield paint sealant does a great job of not harming the logo. And on this table, I also put down one of our big blue, um, blue blazing microfiber drying towels. This is an extra plush towel, and I like using this when I detail helmets uh, or I'm cleaning motorcycle gear because my helmet won't get scratched on the table 
that I'm cleaning it on. So I put this down, there's a nice plush surface, I can put the helmet down, I can make sure that it's not getting harmed and not getting scratched. So now let's feel the helmet. Wow, this feels super smooth. This is like really impressive. So I wanna make sure I just give it a good wipe, get any fingerprints off, and our helmet's just looking amazing. So now after I go ahead and I put the paint sealant on and it's cured on the surface, let's go ahead and just give it a quick wipe down with our ceramic spray sealant. Now I love adding our ceramic spray sealant at the end of any detailing job because it actually is anti-static. When you put on a cream sealant or a wax like our shield, the buffing of the um, paint sealant or the removal of the wax is actually gonna create static cling and then dust is gonna get attracted to the surface. So what I like to do is I just like to take my ceramic spray sealant, shake it up and I like to just give it a good spray on the towel, and then just give it a good wipe down. This is actually gonna neutralize any of the um, static cling on the surface. And then it's also gonna give it a little bit more shine and protection. This is what I like to use to maintain my helmet, is our ceramic spray sealant. You can pick up everything that we use in this video on our website, mastersonswax.com, where you can get everything to keep your car, your motorcycle, your gear, your cool truck looking great. So there we go. Give it a good buff. And then we just flip the towel over to a clean side and just wipe it down. Wow. I love how this makes the color look. It just looks so good. I think when they ship helmets, they put some type of like protective, you know, wax or something on the helmet. It doesn't bring out the shine, but this thing, this just looks like a just colored bowling ball. It looks so good. There we go, so now that I got it all cleaned up, let's go ahead and reinstall our face shield. I'm gonna be picking up a tinted one soon. I usually never ride with the clear, but this one came with it, so let's put it back on. And we're putting on the face shield. Just make sure you line up all these tabs right here. All helmets are different. This showy one is so easy to remove. But make sure you line up these tabs and you don't force it. If you're putting um, your face shield back on and it's not going on right, it's, it's gonna be a bad time. So I'm gonna go ahead and line it up on this side first. There we go. And then let's bring it over here on this side and show you guys how to line it up. You wanna just line up all the tabs. Be gentle, don't force, because uh, if you do, you're gonna break your helmet. So let's just line it up gently. There we go. And then um, what you do is you take this little tab right here on the front, you hold it with one hand and you open up your tab and then you click it. See that little movement mechanism right there? That's how you open a lot of helmets. Every helmet's different. I really like these showy helmets because they're so easy to use, so easy to remove the uh, face shield. Let's do it on this side too. There we go, click in. And what I like to do after I put the helmet in, uh, after I put the face shield on the helmet is I like to just close it and open it, make sure it just functions great. This one functions just so good. It's like brand new, it just locks down. Cool, there we go. Now, one last tip about motorcycle helmets is the face screen. This face screen right here, so sensitive, it scratches with everything. So if you have a helmet and there's like bugs on your uh, helmet, avoid taking your glove and rubbing your face with it because it's gonna scratch this. This is a clear, sensitive plastic. You wanna make sure that that doesn't scratch. So I recommend to use our Masterson's glass cleaner on your front shield, whether it's a clear shield or a tinted shield or one of the mirrored shield. The mirrored shield scratches so easy. You wanna make sure that you use a great glass cleaner like our Masterson's glass cleaner. So take another microfiber towel, uh, for the glass cleaning, I like to use a little short nap like this. These towels actually have two sides, a long side and a short side. So I actually like to use a short side uh, to make sure that I buff the glass perfectly. So take your glass cleaner, and actually I like to spray it on the towel. There we go. And then if you have fingerprints or bugs or road tar uh, or bird poop on your motorcycle helmet, just go ahead and take the glass cleaner and give it a good wipe. And, and use premium microfiber towels. We're using some silk line microfiber towels right here. These are not gonna scratch the helmet and it's gonna keep this windscreen looking good. The biggest thing we notice, we get calls from customers is um, my windscreen is scratched, my visor scratched. Uh, this visor right here, this clear visor is very similar to the windscreens on motorcycles, the clear windscreens, and they scratch so easy. So avoid using a beach towel, avoid using your leather glove. Just stop, get a microfiber towel. I actually like to keep one of these in my motorcycle. Um, I keep it under the seat, uh, under the back seat. So I just open that up. I grab one of these towels. They're really small. You can even like roll them up into a little spot and put it under your seat. And that way you can clean your helmet, you can clean your visor, and you can get it looking good. Now check this out, man. Let's look at the final results on this. Looks amazing. I don't want to get any fingerprints on there, but let's just give it a good wipe. But the results came out 
fantastic. I just love the reflection of this. And I know that this is gonna be protected for up to a year. That's what's amazing for me. When I travel, I take my motorcycle helmet everywhere and I don't just use my helmet for riding my motorcycle. I use it for go-karts, shifter carts. I take my car to the racetrack on track days and I use this helmet as well. So I wanna make sure that when I take this everywhere, it stays looking good and I might even slap a nice Masterson's car care sticker right on the back. So there you go, guys. Now you know exactly how to clean and protect your motorcycle helmet. Now this motorcycle helmet is ready to hop on the road. I can't wait to get this on and cruise the roads and hit up some canyons. Now what we did is we first cleaned it up with our Masterson's detail spray to remove all the dust. Then we gave it two coats of our shield paint sealant and protectant to make sure that it's super smooth and protected against UV solar rays and contamination. And then we finish it off with our ceramic spray sealant, which I'm gonna use on a weekly basis to clean this after every ride. Now remember, when you're cleaning the front visor, always use a premium glass cleaner that's ammonia free, just like our Masterson's glass cleaner. And this visor is gonna stay super clear and scratch free for the whole life of the helmet. Now, thanks a lot guys for viewing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click that subscribe button. Check out all the other videos we have right here on our channel, cleaning and detailing cars and motorcycles. And we got a lot of cool videos showing you how to get your motorcycle ready for the road. Thanks a lot guys. We'll see you next time. I'm Greg from Masterson's Car Care. And always remember, have fun, stay clean and keep on detailing. This is the future.